Hello, I'm Harlan. Now today, I'm going to reveal a mystery to you. It seems that people don't understand this when I tell them. I want to show you about the soul and the spirit. You've read that the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing asunder the soul and the spirit. Well, you see, when you divide something, you separate it, but when you divide it asunder, you tear it apart, you see. So, now think about the things that of the heart. Remember, the mind is the door to the soul. It tries spirits. We're led by the spirit, but we believe with the heart. Man believeth with the heart unto salvation. So you believe with the heart. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? See? So you want to learn the difference between your soul and your spirit. And pay attention. One time I had my hair cut, and this barber said, you're parting your hair the wrong way. It should be parted the other way. Well, I knew that was true. That was 40 years ago, I reckon. I knew that was the truth. But I never quit parting my hair the other way because the spirit, you know, I had my mind kind of made up instead of my heart. But in my heart, I knew that was true. I was parting it the wrong way. And the woman at the well, she, he said, you have five husbands. And the one you got now is not yours, you see. I knew a beautiful woman. She loved God. She prayed all the time. She was a bright, shining thing in the neighborhood. And this man built her a home, bought her a brand new car, and everybody was telling her, you should marry him. He, he wants you to marry him. But she was in love with another man. But she did like her mother told her and all of her friends told her. She went by the Spirit instead of her heart. And when she married him, then the other man she loved died. And as she stood by his grave, she knew she'd made a terrible mistake. And when I seen her on her deathbed, I tried and tried to help her, but she'd made a mistake. She didn't go with her heart. She went with the spirit. See, like Eve went with the spirit. She knew in her heart not to eat of the tree of knowledge, but the serpent told her, well, you can be as gods. You can have children. You can make yourself over. And so she went with the spirit, evil spirit, instead of with her heart. So learn your heart. The heart is a... the emotions, your will, the truth in your heart. Now, like you see me sitting here telling you the Bible's an idol. Now, why would I tell you that? That brings me all kinds of troubles. Why? A person in the right mind would never come and tell you that. I've been kicked out of all the churches. People hate me ever call me bad name because in my heart, I know that's the truth. God told it to me and I kept going. And people in their minds, they know this is the truth and you'll be the truth when you stand before Jesus. So let this go down in your heart because if you don't, you're going to be a scout. And he sacrificed me like he has sacrificed many people to tell you the truth. I don't take no money off of you. I don't want nothing but just to get you home to be with God. And that's my heart. That's all that's in my heart. You know I'm telling you the truth. You just can't live it. All these spirits, all these Bible preachers telling you, no, 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 you got to go by the Bible. You know there's something wrong in them churches. You know they never prophesy. You know they never get anything from God, everything that gets from God. You know in your heart, they're wrong. So go by your heart. The Holy Ghost will fill your heart. And then you can have God's laws written in your heart. You see, and then He'll give you power through the Holy Ghost that you can have a, a, a walk with God that's in power. Learn the difference between your soul and your spirit. Because your spirit will try spirits. Your mind will try spirits. And as you watch me today, you know I'm telling you the truth. You can't do it because they kick you out of society. But you know in your heart it's the truth. So believe God in your heart and take this truth and say, He's in all kinds of trouble from telling the Bible it's the mark of the beast. That's right. But it's in my heart. And the heart believes us unto righteousness. And Jesus Christ, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? So don't lose your soul. If some... Somebody tell you, so I knew not to buy that car. I knew not to marry that person. I knew something was wrong. I knew that you could feel it in your gut. You know it. So go by your heart. Don't let these all these spirits, you got millions of spirits out there telling you what to do. And remember the difference between the heart, or if they call it the soul, the soul and the spirit. I'm telling you the truth and you know it. Now listen to this and watch it go down in your heart. The Bible is an idol.